exchange gifts na. Di ba we love receiving gifts la na yung mga nakabalot na mga makikitab na papel at may ribbon pa. No? Yung minsan gusto mo lang ano, tanggalin yung mga yung mga balot even before Christmas. Pero alam mo ako actually, uh, iba ako mag mag, uh, mag unwrap ng regalo eh. Isa-isa kong tinatanggal yung tape tapos uh, very carefully unfold ko yung wrapper. And then afterwards, titiklop ko siya ulit. I will, you know, very carefully fold it again. Parang napaka-precious sa akin nung, ano, yung balot na parang kasama talaga siya doon sa buong gift. No? Um, I once received also a gift from a friend. It's a mini calendar. Um, there's nothing really special about it except that it's handmade. Um, di naman siya mahal. Di naman siya uh, very expensive. But you see, this gift was given by a person who came from a family of painters. And that's what really made it special. Now, a gift doesn't have to come from famous people or, you know, famous talents. But a special gift comes from a person that we know personally. Uh, what makes it special is that the monetary value, di man siya kamahalan, pero syempre okay lang naman kahit bigyan nyo ako ng mahal na regalo. What is more important is the thought given by the giver in the gift. A giver gave a piece of himself along with the gift. You see, when God gives gifts, He does so with so much care, love, and thoughtfulness. In fact, God gave not just a part of Himself. He gave Himself. He gave Himself to His only Son, Jesus Christ. This is what we read in the Bible. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. So when you give gifts this Christmas, give as you would like to receive them. Give a piece of yourself. It honors God who gives us so much more. Because you see, in giving gifts, faith matters too. God bless you.